uh, okay guys so welcome back in another video so at this video we are going to improve our ttb player so at the last of video as you can see we said that our player okay like our player we can control that okay so now let's uh, do something more with our you know the, with our player so as you can see this is our ttp player uh, wow and our unreal engine is loading i think unreal engine early access will be as soon as possible will be upgrade and they will be maybe fix this problem okay so as you can see that this is our simple player and and i think that we need some you know animation for this player so let's set up animation so for doing for do that what we do is basically very simple just create a new blueprint by creating right mouse animation and animation blueprint and at here we'll be select our u for manicure to skeleton body okay make sure there's a maybe available some more uh, skeleton barbie body but we need to set only our player body which uh, we are using so then just click on simply ok then we'll be give this animation name that ttp and then a and i m our animations ok let's open this ok as you can see this is our new state machine we need to create lots of things so let's create first of all we will be add a new state machine so just new that state machine and we can call it name that locomotion then we will be connected our player uh, this is our state machine with our output process then simply click on compile and save ok now as you can see it's showing a warning because we need to set a idle animation so just click and new state that idle this will be uh, this uh, at this uh, state what it will be do is basically very simple it will be play the animation when first time this animation or our animation will be start so basically at here will be simply give a idle that idle and there's a lots of idle for now uh, also i will add some more idle animation so it will be maybe help as you can see this is our simple animation with gun down okay then if now if we set with like this like the class and set our animation blueprint as you can see it's supporting and that was simple okay that yeah as you can see it's very simple also what you can do is basically very simple just we can use some more animation if you have any type of animation you can use that but for now we are using this one and at l next video will be add some more animation so we can make it some more good okay so that is the basics of the animation okay so that is the ideal one let's improve this something more that when you go left or right it will be play some animation so for do that from our state machine add the locomotion to the ideal will be add a new state this state is first one for work okay so we'll be get upgrade this animation later for now we are just creating the state okay then from the work we'll be we want to we can go at left so from that side we'll be creating another state that left work and from this side we'll be set it to right work okay and then we also need a backward so be back work for now i'm giving it name that back work wow what a name back work okay make sure we have every of value have a return like it's scam it's come out when it's entered then it shall become out then the same thing okay and this is the same thing for this okay that is the simple okay like let's give it some more good okay as you can see now it's looking like a perfect animation okay so this is our basically the state machine work that the two ideal two we can work left and right and it is animation so let's first of all we need to create some variables to uh you know to use this gate so for uh, do that we need to go at even graph and at our given graph first of all we'll be get this delta because this block is very important and from our try to get own player we'll be cast our player that cast to ttp player okay because this is our player and connected with this okay from our get own player will be get a vector uh, vectority Okay. Uh, if you you, you find like that, 
get vector ID, not vector guys it's a vector ID okay make sure then will be get from the vector ID will be get the length so get uh, get alien th okay get length uh, you find lots of length but we need the get length so you can also search that alien and you can find this that uh, vector length okay so this is the speed of our animation or our vector that when it go left right forward or back it will it have a value so we can get the value from this return value so just promote a variable and we can call it that speed okay so as speed speed okay then we can simply create a sequence at here to execute this okay so from add our split will be now verify that how much is this split okay are it's greater than 0 0.1 make sure if our this uh, float value is more than 0 0.1 it's mean we are going somewhere like we we are moving a uh, forward left right okay so if you are moving we are give a we are now from this uh, this if and else block will be promote a variable that is m o v i n g is moving okay that is a simple block and at here will be simply create another sequence why i'm creating this sequence lots of because uh when we are update our animation more we need lots of more blocks so that's why so we'll create this simple okay okay now we have the simple moving block so we can use this thing so go at look uh, locomotion and this is our first gate that is it's moving so if it's true so we are moving so we at that time he'll be play the the walk animation and if you are not moving so for do that or get that is moving set it that not so you are just verifying that if it's not or false so it will be stop the animation okay so at here we can now play any of animation so let's add a duplicate okay, walk let's see if you have any walk there's a, as you can see there's a walk backward uh, this is the prone one okay uh, start forward that is the loop type okay now compile and save now let's check play and as you can see if you are uh, for going forward left or right or somewhere it will be playing the animation okay at this here we can use our left right and forward animation that was simple so it's working okay now let's go at our an event graph from at the event graph we will be get our cast our ttp player to will be get a simple that get mov uh, movement components and from the movement component we search that is falling or not this block will be help you to verify that are we are in air or not this block will be give you the return data that if you are uh, just you can promote a variable that air so if it's true it's mean that we are in air if it's false it's mean that we are not in air so from at here uh, from this one we'll be create another sequence so yeah i'm creating uh, as sequence as possible because i want to make my blueprint code as clean as possible okay like sometimes it become very messy that's why okay now this block will be help you to verify that are we are in air or not so let's go now at locomotion so at the locomotion now we can play a animation that is state new state and this will be help you to uh, you know if you are in air so give it that air okay and uh, also like this so that is the entry and the entry will be like this air and uh, if it's false so not okay now at our this air locomotion we can give that fall as you can see there is a falling animation loop type okay we just connected with this okay for to check this that are we are falling or not okay as you can see we are not falling so for check the falling we can make just give our player some height so uh, 
as you can see if you are now in air we will be play the animation but if you are in a ground it will be not the play the animation so that is the simple as you can see <laughs> it's simple so like just think that we are falling from the ground or like just think that we are in air so it will be automatically play the animation okay so yeah i think it will be help our animation to make some more good okay so actually as you can see this is now good totally okay basically we set up our some animations and yeah some basic uh, animation animation so then we'll be create some more that at our state machine uh, we'll be now creating one more an state for our aim okay so just give it that aim and also just get a return from value from that now go at even graph at the even graph from our ttp uh, we need to create a here a variable that aim okay so we'll be use this variable later for now but for now just we'll be set this variable okay we'll be do this variable work at the aiming okay but later not now okay now just simply connected with this compile and save okay that is the help you to when we are aiming it will be play this so at here we'll need to just find out the animation so i i'm using the rifle pro animation flag so i have there's a animation so just like that okay okay that was easy that is a basically very easy step machine i think you can easily understand this state machine because i show you a part by part so it will be help you to understand very goodly because i making uh, and i always try to make uh, as easy as possible let's do some code at our event graph of ttp player okay at this uh, at here will be basically get some uh, kind of like this thing that you, we can we want to aim so right mouse for the aim okay we'll be use the right mouse for aim now at here we'll be create a variable uh, not a com uh, displayment sorry uh, we'll be create a variable with boolean that aim and just press okay and we'll be duplicate it first one is for when if you're pressing so it's true if you are not pressing it's uh, false okay now at our viewport will be add a camera okay so just simply add a camera okay and will be set like this so it will be help us to you know when, when you are aiming it will be help okay now let's go at a event graph now we'll be get this our both main camera and the camera the second camera will be give it that uh, aim cam okay that was <laughs> very easy okay now for material first of all we search that the active but we'll be just break down this then we'll be search that uh, a c t i b active and you find that set active okay so we want this that first of all we'll be set our new camera that's to active that when we are pressing the right mouse we want that our aim camera should work so new active and we'll be just duplicate it one more time and if you are releasing this thing okay so we'll be activating our main camera and disable our aim camera okay and that was very simple also we need to set this thing that okay so now we can use this variable okay like just go now a ttp player from our uh, cast to ttp player will be now use that so at here let's search that get aim okay and just scroll some and you find your variable now we already create a variable in our animation graph so we'll be just do like that okay so from at here we'll be create another sequence okay and just connect it with our aim okay so now if let's press and let's test that okay now if i right mouse as you can see it's changing but i think there's a some problem okay as you can see uh, i don't know what's doing <laughs> but it's doing something wrong okay let's see what is doing something wrong so let's our ttp player first of all it will be should be active our main camera 
then deactivate our main cam if you are releasing this it will be main cam active and should be deactivated so it's very easy setups but i don't know <laughs> why this is not working goodly let's break down all this stuff again that new active and deactivate our main camera so let's first of all test this thing and if it's doing like that it will just deactivate this thing it should be work guys let's check uh <laughs> as you can see <laughs> i don't know what is doing <laughs> but <laughs> it's probably doing something wrong let's join this thing with our mesh and just give some distance i think it needs some distance yeah as you can see now it's working but it's probably i think uh there's a maybe our character collision maybe uh, somewhere our screen line boom like it's doing something with that so let's connect this thing with our that I think now it will be work so sometimes this problem can become and I think you can easily fix this problem uh, okay for now let's uh, disable our these things okay for now just for now let's check are its problem our animation or not okay as you can see our coding the aim changing or the releasing like when you're pressing the right mouse it will be working but i think there's uh, some problem in our this that on our animation graph that when it's pressing that this one is executing it's doing something maybe wrong so let's find out that what kind of problem it's doing it should be play this animation okay so yeah it's probably do this animation i think we need to search any animation from here uh, i think we need to play this one so let's simply just copy the name and come in our ttp player and just okay as you can see there is a i think this one let's compile and now we need to just set this just connect it to our aim again compile save now play yeah as you can see it's working but i think it's uh, probably playing a wrong animation okay <laughs> yeah I think this is playing a wrong animation this is the basically the when you stand and uh, this is the same uh, it should be use this animation okay like because this is the good animation so I don't know why our this things not supporting like it should be support this thing but just see that when you are pressing this thing it will be removing our player like yeah it's doing something wrong okay so next video will be fix this problem and also do something more with our animation also add some more uh, code okay so for now i think that is the enough for today what do you think guys and if you have any question you can comment in my comment box and thank you so much for watching guys love you all and bye bye